Hello there, friends. Welcome on in or welcome back. If you are just joining us, Mike and I are back for some more Stardew. Yep. And uh, we are stuck in key fruit purgatory because we need to ship 500 of them. Dear Lord, we were not prepared for that. <laughs> um, but we'll see. We're making an effort. We're making strides on the island. Feisty, good morning. Welcome on in. Or good afternoon now, actually, for me. Sandrick, welcome on in as well. I hope you're all having a good one. Feisty's actually... Uh, Taking part in the, in, the, in the charity relay as well, by the way, so you can go ahead. Drop him a follow there. That should pop up, by the way, for every other person who is participating in the relay. Hopefully, if I set it up correctly. So, uh, if you want to see more about the relay, you can also go to the Gamers vs. MS site. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and, and, and uh, uh, continue our shenanigans, shall we? And also, question of the day, um, for anyone who might be just joining us. Uh, how many hours have you put into, or what is the most hours you put into a singular save file of Stardew? Absolutely, yeah, thank you for joining us. Oh, is there play? Oh, look at all these, look at, look at that. Nice. But yeah, these are the key fruit, and we need to ship 500 of them by 14 days from now, so the end of the month. It'll, It'll be tight. maybe happen. It'll be tight. It'll be tight. I believe in you. Oh good, I don't. <laughs> I don't. <clears throat> Oh, okay. So there's a lot more of the fruit. Let's just, uh... Uh, trying to get, um, uh, as many of them down and planted as we can. Bonus points for fertilizer. <laughs> Good thing you have that upgraded hoe. Yeah, I'm actually really glad. I should probably finish upgrading all my tools here, but... And also, nice thing that it's raining as well, it just kind of skips a step for me. Don't go That's water. true. That's true. I live in are doing all the things today. We got the lawnmowers here and when I get some water. Got some water. They had a cherry picker thing so they can trim the trees out front. Yeah, it's that time of year where they're gonna start kinda doing all the all the chores and outdoorsy stuff. We got that plus construction today. Although I guess the plus side is we have the windows closed because of the construction, because it's so noisy. But it also means I'm not going to have uh, such bad allergy attacks from all the pollen from the cutting of the grass. So instead of uh, me passing the relay to you, you'll be passing. Oh, am I passing it to you? Okay, cool, cool, cool. I knew there was a schedule change, but I didn't have the chance to look into who would change to where and what, but... Awesome. Cool, cool, cool. It's so enjoyable having this house phone in our game, because mm -hmm. I can treat it like real life. I just ignore it. I <laughs> just ignore it. <laughs> Screw the people on the phone. Uh, Feisty, do you know what exactly you're going to be doing for your time slot yet, or are you gonna do you not? If you don't want to share, it's cool. But I figured I'd ask. <laughs> Xandra. Very fitting, very fitting.
think Paleo is my main, but chance of some other games depending on Milestone, Words, Marbles, Nitro Racing. That sounds like fun. Paleo is also just really chill. Um, do I still have fertilizer? I have put it down somewhere. Tattoos and beads and such, yeah. Love that. I try one of those My Time games again sometime. My Time at Sandbox is so good. Uh, Porsche is still, you know, it's still good. But, um, I don't know, they just, they did Sandbox really well. Uh, most at the moment is 86 hours on a summer year three farm. I'll probably pass that when 1.6 comes to console. What's yours? Uh, 141 on the 1.5 perfection run we did. That one was a lot of fun too. I think I got it pretty much figured out. Hopefully. <laughs> I've done one car control thing for GRD before and I remember there being some hiccups. So I think that's just what gets me the most, is having to rely on this platform. I guess we'll see. Does the wizard count for villager introductions? No. Uh, no, I don't think he does. I think Willy does the next day, but I don't think the wizard did. Does Steam save your gameplay time in its own database? Um, I'm not sure about Steam exactly, but I know if you load into Stardew uh, and then click on load, it will show you your save files and their hours. Does Mike know his? I think Mike said it was something like 80 so, something? So, slay 80 bats or tiger trout? Bats. You don't want to do the tiger trout again? No. I'm going to be fishing anyways. I guess so. I was just going to do the tiger trout again. Like, I literally came here to fish. I was going to go to the ocean, but I'm like, you know what? Never mind. Up until one year it passed in game, but that was on a previous hard drive. Yeah, I don't know if, if Steam itself would, like, remember. I think you can have cloud saves for Stardew, though, so there's still the possibility. Okay, so that is all I just wasted. Well, wasted is subjective, I guess, but I, I used up all of our um, deluxe speed grow. That's okay. Okay, I am gonna come back home. Um, and Silver Palm, in terms of missing people, I find for me it's usually like Haley. Um, I always have trouble running into Haley personally. Uh, Elliot. Controller wasn't working well with the mapping, so I decided to pass this time. Oh, and try for boss battles in July. Yeah, it's un it's unfortunate your controller couldn't work. Um, when I did card control last time, I was trying to do Luigi's Mansion, uh, the GameCube one, and it was working fine during testing. But when it actually came on the day of, um, it didn't want to know my controller. But it was a GameCube controller I was trying to use with a USB input. Uh, when I switched over to my Xbox controller, it had no problems, so. I don't know what that's all about, but. And Sebastian. I was missing Jasp, but you got her. Hmm. 73 hours on record on your Steam. Oh, was that just a goat noise? Okay, I think that was just a really strange goat noise as I left. That really caught me off guard. Was it Pam? You're missing Pam? How could you forget about Pam?
train. Train. Not to be confused with stairs. Neither of us are running for this train, I guess. No. Um, it was someone's birthday. Is it Sandy? Yeah, Sandy's birthday. Okay. Was that yesterday? I don't remember. No, that's today, yeah. Sandy's birthday. No, no, I don't think it did, unfortunately. Mike tried to put out the, uh, the auto collector to see if it would, but... Hey, Jacob, it's good. How are you? Um, okay, Sandy. Let's go grab something for her. I know, right? Yeah, it's always really annoying trying to find all of your truffles. Does Sandy go to the island? Uh, I lost Sandy. While your people disappearing on their birthdays. Just sat down at the party away groceries and got hit with a wave of tired, but otherwise you're good. Hopefully you got some good stuff for groceries. Oh, here she is, here she is. Seems to stay cooler by the like. It's really nice that uh, Emily comes out for her birthday. like the first time you meet Sandy meet her on her birthday with two fa uh what are they called the fairy star tea? drop teas star drop teas yeah and just finish finish off her her friendship thing in one go that could be fun um I guess I could probably do some cooking I feel like I'm so close to finishing a lot of this I did put a couple more salmon in there for you. Thank you. Salmon dinner, there we go. I need sea cucumbers. Are those summer? I feel like those are summer. Rainbow trout, we have and green algae we should definitely also have. Trout soup is done. Um, fried egg hash brown. Pancake for complete breakfast. There we go. Cool. Um, this one I just need tortilla. Okay, so I think that's everything from the first two rows. Oh wait, no, I stand corrected. Other than the lucky lunge completed. Our pie. Question mark. Okay, so everything except for missing dish and lucky lunch is done. Look at the lolly down there. I think the only thing that is not very realistic about this ollie, other than the hat, <laughs> is the fact that he's not demanding to watch TV. Hey, hon. Yeah. Guess how many tiger trout we need left? How many? Four. That's not bad. It's day, First day. one. 
Yeah. I'm using the bait from Linus. Double the fish. Okay, I need to go hunt for sea cucumber tomorrow because apparently they're fall and winter. I did not know that. That's good though, hon. Um, um, what? And I can complete that one. This one needs. I have bread. I have so much bread. I have so much trash can bread. Do you want more? <laughs> Who would need more? Sardines and hash browns. Okay. Midnight carp. Um, are those in the witches area? I think so. the midnight beach double bed uh i'm opening up different wiki pages so that i remember what i'm hunting for because i will close this menu and forget i like iridium tools IRL. i can't imagine how little maintenance slash wear they'd be right things that you never have to sharpen or really worry about uh what was the other one i was missing sorry you know. Okay, so the midnight carp I should actually be able to go grab tonight. It just needs to be nighttime fishing. Long more with iridium blades. <laughs> and when you have a sack, you the UI info suite allows you to hover over. What do you want? Things. Could you hover over the casks or the kegs in the basement? Okay. I just want to see how much longer. Uh, there was something in here. I just need oil. Okay. Actually, wait. I might have some in the fridge. I might not have used all of it up. doing here shall we um getting there for shipping 11 more for cooking that's not bad uh 27 more for crafting 81 percent um i could definitely start working on more gifting is doing um maybe i should have invested in tree fertilizer <laughs>
Are you still just fishing? Yep. Sounds good. I will be joining you. Uh, I need to catch Midnight Carp, and apparently I can catch some here after 10 o'clock. For like a short period of time. Where is here? Uh, Mountain Lake, Forest Pond, Ginger Island, North and West. I'm at the mountain. Okay. Have you been finding many seeds? I have 12. Okay. Uh, out of curiosity, friends, does anyone in here watch Watcher? Or, um... Also known as Shane and Ryan, who used to be on BuzzFeed, but then they spread off and made their own YouTube channel. <laughs> Has anyone heard of the dumpster fire going on over there right now? Not anymore! <laughs> CB, you heard. You heard. Oh, dearie me. Didn't till recent news. I don't, but I've seen the drama. Yeah. Yeah. Bit of a shame. That was a dumb move. I, uh... Clicked on the video, I thought that it was like satire. I thought they were joking the entire way through. And then they got to the end and I'm like, oh my god, no they're not. Uh, and then I scrolled down and I read the YouTube comments, which is not generally something I would recommend doing. Because it's usually a dumpster fire. But it couldn't have been worse than the actual video itself. Um, and I have never seen a more united comment section in my life. Um... I know who they are, but I don't know the drama. So, T, uh, is they spread off from BuzzFeed, made their own channel called Watcher. Um, and I could definitely tell they were putting a lot into the production value side of things. They were trying to make things look very flashy, very sophisticated. And like, you know, that's nice and all. But a lot of people, myself included, who started watching those two, were watching them for themselves and for the jokes and for them bouncing things off each other and not really for the cutting edge technology and like you know the fancy graphics and stuff not really all that important um they have gone ahead and started their own streaming service um i think it was something like six dollars a month uh, to watch just their content alone. I think that's the kicker, just their content. Um, and they'll still upload like trailers and stuff to YouTube, but it's not going to be like full episodes from my understanding. Um, have we animal crackered all the animals? No, we have not. Okay, because I just got one. Okay, you can check the uh, animal list and just throw it at whoever you want. Yeah. So I, I thought that they weren't going to take away YouTube content. I thought they were going to leave what was already there. But it wouldn't surprise me if they did that. Um, I think the thing that stuck out to me the most was them saying, oh, this is, like, you know, we want to make it really affordable for anyone. No. Oh. No, no, no. If I'm going to spend $6 a month anywhere, it will be on a service where I can watch lots of different content, not just one, as much as I love both of them. I know, affection, yeah. I'm upset too. I really enjoyed their content. College here because they have several full on production shows that they put on, yeah. Content will still be there, just not the new stuff. That is not affordable now. Um, and it just, it came out of. It, it didn't sound. It, it, the whole video just sounded awful. Um. Yeah, most people, and that's fair. That's valid. Um, it was just done in really poor taste. I'll watch the TikTok pirate uploads. 
I like that. <laughs> Seeing phrases of dropout so much. Their shows are so damn funny and engaging. I just love all the members of their teams. Yeah, I think there's a right way and a wrong way, but a lot of bigger former YouTubers have done similar and they failed. So it's like, well, I don't know what they were thinking, but it's incredibly tone deaf. Um, and sad to see. <laughs> like, come on. If PewDiePie couldn't do it himself, mm -hmm. right? What, what, how does Watcher think they can possibly get away with it? You know, like, yeah, Jack, I, I agree with you there. Only if there was like others, but it's just them. And the most, I, again, I don't really know anyone in their team aside from Shane and Ryan. Um, and that's just from watching for a couple of years, not from like personally knowing them, obviously. Um, a lot of people in the comments seem to be going after the third guy on that couch, whose name is Steven Lim. Um, he wants to do his own show where he goes and tries really expensive foods and people are like oh this is just funding your thing right and apparently he drives a tesla cyber truck thingy or whatever i don't know and it's yeah it just seems out of touch and it's it wasn't a good look is this the fridge i put it no is this the fit? No, that's not the. F is this the fish fridge? Just there's put in any of the fridge. I don't. There's no organization in there. <laughs> oh god, am I gonna make it? On top of you. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> um, I have a Patreon that they don't promote or do anything with. There's a good amount of people to pay into. That's what I remember. I remember hearing them mention that hey, there all the there's all these outtakes on our Patreon. <laughs> And I'm like, oh, you know, that's cool. Like, that that seems about right. But uh, Today's the fair, so fair warning going into town might be kind of obnoxious. Okay. I can fish wherever. Yeah. Just started watching their channels in the last month or so. It sucks because I did enjoy the ghost hunting since it wasn't how others were with the overreactions and stuff. I was you know, when I was going through YouTube comments on that video. Ooh. 10 spicy eels from the eels. Nice. Um, there was a couple suggestions in the comments for other channels with similar vibes that I mean to check out at some point. Uh, because that was always, it was always just the vibes, you know? It's funny. Yeah, I know. They were the most... Most of the entire section was in agreement that that was a bad move. <laughs> I tried to go and sell this crappy sword I found yesterday, and it's locked. Oh. Yeah, I can't even just wander in there. The key of the city is very, uh... Subjective? Subjective, yeah. You have infinite energy. Nice. Let's find a better chance of finding geodes. Because I don't think I'm going to have to deal with bombs while fishing. Probably not. Probably not. No worries, Jacob. Have a good one. It's all good. Mm. Uh, some other content creators have talked about being a wrong move too, so it isn't only the fans who are upset. Yeah. it It's a shame. I really did enjoy them. Hey, okay, animal cracker. So I, I guess I'll just go over the island and sort that out today. Well, I guess one broccoli will die. It's okay. Oh, I got my watering can. Never mind. If you're um, Where? if you're fishing, you have the geo things with you. I do not. I I will collect them. Just to remind you. Yeah. I could also do it, so whatever you prefer. Free Pringles and get sad when you realize they have all gone. That's how I'm feeling right now. Aww. I do love me good Pringles, too. See, Pringles and I have a love-hate relationship. So yeah, I, I feel sad when I get to the end of the, of the tube, which is generally five minutes into starting. 
but I know it's a pain that's going to start very soon after that. My body does not agree with Pringles. I don't know what the hell they're made out of. It ain't good though. And it's strictly Pringles. Yeah. You have your very specific things that you can't stomach. Yeah. The whatever they pass off is whipped cream that Tim Hortons might can't handle that. Oh god, yeah, that, that really hurt. It took us a while to realize that was the problem. <gasps> Hi, John. How are you doing today? Okay, so a couple of the cows. A couple of the cows are not golden crackered. Here we go. There we go. One of the cows just got golden crackered. I'm it just was... thinking how out of context hearing, mm -hmm. yeah, this cow isn't golden crackered. Riri. Riri the cow has now been golden crackered. That, that was a unicorn. What? It's good. Farming is going good. Riri the unicorn. Oh, okay. <laughs> that's who that's named for. Alright. It's going good. We have a big quest to like uh, ship a certain amount of this one type of uh, fruit, I guess, and it is kind of taking over my life at the moment, but we're doing good. It's fine. No biggie. Everything is okay. Everything is okay. Everything is awesome. <laughs> Cheese it and goldfish do that to you, Brandon. Yeah, it's such a shame. And your body's just like, no, I do not. I do not want this. Thank you. Yeah, but the real question is, does it stop you? <laughs> right? Right? See, there's certain allergies that people are just like, eh, I'll just deal with it. Yeah, same. I don't have a lot of things to set up my stomach, thankfully. The biggest one is gin. I get horrible acid reflux off the stuff. Yeah. Not fun. I like how I still have the standard hoe. My first thought, again, is skill issue, and that's such a bad thing. Why did we start that? I don't know why you started anything. I don't know. Uh, spicy food hates me, but I sometimes I just need that spice in my life. Of course, I regret it later, but still. It used to be a thing where, like, Mike would meet up with me at a mall after work. And we'd, like, you know, stop by Tim Hortons, and he'd get this one certain drink. Uh, I, there had to be a time where I'm like, we can't, you can't keep getting this. Like, this, this is, like, hurting you each time. Much body weight to begin with. I don't want to lose more or have other issues. That's you as well, Sandrick. I stay up until 2 3 am playing Stardew because as it's such a good mining groove during the Spring Desert Festival, double coffee day for me. Heck yeah. I hope that you uh, get some good rest tonight, mind you, but also every now and then it's fun to stay up and play silly amounts of Stardew. Oh, wait a minute. Mistakes have been made on this side. I will hand water, I guess. I was looking at that and I'm like, I know this looks wrong, but I don't know why. Two more. All we need is two more. Same when you have IBS. Is this food item going to make me have a bad time? Yes. Do I care? No. Relation market tomorrow and see what flavors. Uh, Sam Yang, I can grab. I don't know if I know what that is. Um. Oh wait a minute. Oh, no, I'm doing it again here, aren't I? There we go. Much better. I don't know what to play in. Random stickers on the internet are not helping. Uh oh. Choices, I know. If you want, just take the extra um, 
sprinkler with a nozzle from on the edge of the garden and you can get that one. Oh, true, true, true. Oh, yeah. Just so you know. Thank you. Make things simple. I'm just fishing, so... I found my crowns too. My triggers evolve and change. And as soon as I figure one out, it changes or I get a new one. So each food is just random chance half the time. Oh, no. That is so unfortunate. See, I would like... I would I would leave mine up to like... I like I would just call it standard IBS symptoms and stuff. But like I'll sit there and eat like a spicy habanero sandwich and be completely fine. You know, or like some sort of garlic aioli, super spicy sandwich, and I'm fine. I'm fine. You know, I ate that wrong, that Pringle, that one Pringle chip. Nope. I'm done for. I forgot the nozzle attaches to the sprinkler, so you could just yeah, it's not like you could just take the nozzle. You don't even have to take a sprinkler. Mm -hmm. I'm still taking the sprinkler, mind you. It's mine. Spice and noodle challenges on YouTube or whatever, they usually involve... Oh, okay. Hi. I think I know what you mean. Oh, wait. Might be a particular ingredient or set of ingredients. That's why I was looking into when, when we realized it was the Tim Hortons. Um, whipped cream, and that's like with heavy quotations because I don't know what it is. Dumb nice job, hon. Tiger tracks. Um, I was trying to look into it and I'm like, okay, what is gonna bother you in this? <laughs> El, it's good. How are you doing today? So that giant fat raccoon thingy that we were speaking to that one day, um... Does it always come back, or like... I don't know. You just found it one day? Yeah. So should we have been looking for it? I think he just comes... I, I always see him later on in my playthroughs, from what I remember. Okay. That's about all I remember about it. <laughs> I'm... okay. Oh, Trixie wants a story story suggestions from you or from anyone in chat if you're not sure gotta get your lurk on sounds good thank you so much for your lurk video gaming story um i have plenty of those it's just like which one which one uh I know I have some. Just bear with me. <laughs> like I'm just, me. I'm remembering some of yours. Okay, give me, give me one of my own. Your what was it? The first time playing Pokemon Red, in your char, your Charmander. Oh, uh, yeah. Not Is the it? first time, but close enough, I guess. Yeah, I um. I've told this story many times on stream, but I uh, was playing Pokemon Fire. My computer I had a hiccup and I hit the wrong square. <laughs> that sucks. Uh, I was playing Pokemon Fire Red on GBA uh, and I was 13, let's say, maybe, maybe 12. And um, I picked Charmander as one does. Because it's the only choice. No, I'm joking. You can choose whichever of the Gen 1 ones you want. If you don't pick Cyndaquil in Gen 2, that's when I start to judge. But they're all still really good. Uh, I picked Charmander. And I remember sending him out of the Pokeball. And I, I couldn't remember if it had always had that sparkle animation when it comes out of the Pokeball. I'm like, oh, that's different. That's weird. I evolved it to Charmeleon. Still didn't twig anything. It was different finally evolved it to Charizard, and I'm like, why is it black? <laughs> why is my Charizard a different color than normal? Uh, and that led me into Shinies. 
and I didn't quite understand how uh, how special that was. Uh, I've since deleted over its said save file because again I did not quite realize how special that was. Uh, but it was cool, you know. I, I I now absolutely adore shiny hunting. I think it's so neat to to find them randomly. Uh, and I don't know if I'll ever find another shiny starter like that ever again. But it'd be cool if I did. Whereas when we repurchased, was it Gen 3? Gen 2. Gen 2. On the 3DS Virtual Console. Yeah, I, I re-rolled my account twice. Got a shiny starter. Yeah, so he was... He saw me soft resetting for a shiny Cyndaquil, and he's like, oh, let me give it a try. Third attempt, the shiny Totodile. I was, um... Salty. That is a word that would probably <laughs> accurately describe my face at the time. That is indeed a word. Do you want to find that Rotom you passed up? I'm still mad about that Rotom too, you know? I don't- I don't like missing shinies. Holy shit. What? Four, eight... Ten. Ten seeds. One, two, three animal crackers. Nice. Mystery box of pearl. Fish stew, some deluxe bait, broccoli. Two sonar bobbers and a... Dressed spinner in one box. Nice. I'm out of space. <laughs> <laughs> that filled me, like, filled my inventory perfectly. Do you still need the salmon? No, I think I'm good. I think I'm good. Do you end up getting a shiny cyndaquil? I didn't. No. I think I got one later through software setting or um, a pseudo method in Sun and Moon. It may have been before. I don't remember either way. Uh, but I got one at a different point. Yeah, Brandon, sure. Can I dig here? Okay. Yeah. So we have three animal crackers to spend now. Nice. What? Um, I also have. I'll, I'll teleport to you. I've got uh, twelve more seeds. I was gonna say, do you want to bring some iridium sprinklers? Some? Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. That's some, yeah. Eleven. I just kind of mashed it and I was hoping that it wouldn't say no. No, we have a lot of, um... Gold? Actually, we have a lot no, of... No, no, it's everything. iridium. A lot of iridium, too. Do you remember these spots, too? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Wait. No, no, we're good, we're good, we're good, sorry. Panicking. Here we go. Thank you. Uh, and then the 12 seeds. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six more. Yay. Here we go. Bad, I don't have iridium sprinklers on day three. <laughs> you gotta earn them. You gotta earn them. Oh god. <laughs> Why, thank you. Got our little victory fanfare. So how many do we think we have here to begin with? I have no idea. <laughs> I, I'm not keeping track of how many we actually planted. I just figure I'll 
make as many plots as I can, and then at the end of the season, we're selling them. Which might not work. Uh, yeah, this might work. I like this plan. So you got 52 there. We need 10 times that. Well, we might succeed. Maybe. This is gonna take a while. Nice detail though that the birds don't bother your crops on this island. You don't really gotta worry about it. It's probably because of all the the uh, other birds that keep them away. They keep the seagulls away. These are colorful birds. Okay, so one of the brown chickens needs an animal cracker. There we go. White cow. And one of the brown cows. There we go. I think all of our animals, except for the pigs, are animal crackered. Good. Oh my gosh. The birds really not bother crops, so I've never seen crows, but I've often found missing crops. Oh, I have. <laughs> if you go out early, uh, you'll you'll see them nibbling down on uh, on your crops and your home farm. Oh, on the island? No, I've never. I've had ones missing on the island, um, but I know that that's because of weeds. I've had weeds come up onto the farm. Or lighting. That's a good note, yeah. Yeah, and like I've noticed, at least on this safe file, we have had a lot of rain on the island too. So that would answer it for us at least. Lightning rods might be an idea. Uh, we haven't put down any here yet, but that could be something we could work on. Oh god, I just watched the duck hop into the pond. <laughs> Isn't it cute? It actually got out of the, the enclosure now. It gets now. out. Oh. That's, that is cute. He's like, freedom? <laughs> okay. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I guess I'm just gonna bring some stuff home with me here. Um, uh, Oh shit, it's Cranberry Day. Cranberry Day! Catchy, it's obvious. Why? Yeah. I don't know what to name the rival. God. Because you always end up fighting a god at the end of a game like Persona. Can 
God's ass and Pokemon, yeah. Let's you could be using your scythe to harvest everything. I know. <laughs> or you have the gold scythe with you. Yeah, because you were holding on to mine for a long time, so I just... But I have my own now. Yes, I know. I can finally have mine back. Yeah, I've had my own for a while. Uh, where was the one I needed a midnight carp for? Actually, wait, I need to go fishing in the ocean. Could they call it sea mist and sell cranberry juice or something? I don't know. Ugh. Oh, definitely, definitely not ocean spray, though. That doesn't sound very good. Who would name their company that? about getting some sardines and some sea cucumbers as well here. Cooking. Eleven more days for the wine. Okay, good, good. I just remembered you wanted me to check on it and I kept on procrastinating on it. If I'm... Tomorrow's. Counting right, that means the first of the season, I think. Or the last day of the season. Or the last day, okay. So maybe any wine that we harvest between then and now, don't we sell. Have, <clears throat> we have one set of wine finishing in three days. Okay. Just so we can uh, fill that up. Honor of the bog spiders? Do I want to know? Should I be concerned? Also, I'm so sorry if you guys hear any like background in either of our microphones. They are doing some more uh, drilling, it sounds like. We had such a variety of items that that small shipping bin couldn't handle it. <laughs> I know. Got too much going on. Do you want me to come and fish down there with you? Yeah, sure, why not? Oh, I got another ammo cracker that I don't think we need right now. We do not. We always get some more animals. Cranberry farmer's best friend is the local spires that live among the crops because it's free pest control. Oh, I, I had not heard about this before. I mean, it makes sense, but uh, yeah, no, I'm good. I'll stay away. Oh, yeah, it's uh, apparent. I've, I've, I've actually heard about that, the spiders. Um, you know how uh, you see that commercial where you got the two guys standing in the water of cranberries? Mm -hmm. So apparently the most terrifying thing is that... You actually see like these giant running, like the running of spiders across those fields. And like when you climb in there, you just have them climbing all over you because they're just looking for some sort of surface to climb onto. No. No. Yeah, apparently it's just, they're just everywhere and they're huge. No. Absolutely not. Try to give me a billion pounds and I'll pass. <laughs> I don't you know. <laughs> Maybe a million pounds might convince me. Also, I don't know who was talking about Cajun pasta, but that sounds tasty. You stop, 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 stop. <laughs> um, so Han, if you wouldn't find saving sea cucumbers. Sea cucumbers and the sardines. Yes, please. Yep, yeah, I'm I'm listening. The Philippines desensitize you to spiders. Is it silver bomb? God, I'm jelly. 
There were spiders, if I'm not mistaken, though. Most spiders generally don't bite humans if humans don't pose a threat. And, like, I don't think most spiders are, like, evil or out to get you or anything like that, you know? They're probably horrified by these big humans. But I'm also horrified. <laughs> so I will leave them well alone. And I don't wish them any harm, but also stay the heck away. They just have way too many likes. <laughs> Oh, you're big and scary, but I must climb you to keep out of the water. I mean, like, you know, lesser of two evils, I guess, right? Oh, silver palm. Yeah, sorry about that. That will happen. That will happen. A lot of people have told me that before. What's this? Uh, people reeling in their fishing line early because they hear me fishing in Stardew. Oh, yeah. I, it happens to me a lot of times, too. Yeah. And the worst thing is because I can look up and watch Crystal playing in real time. If I hear, if I see hers go off, sometimes it'll trigger me to trigger mine. Mm -hmm. Whereas Crystal, that never happens because she's on controller. She just waits for the vibrate. That's half the reason my controller is OP. I'm just saying I can like it's vibrating currently as I'm over top the fish. By the way, so that also helps me. Um, if it's not the bar isn't on the fish, it doesn't vibrate. So like I can kind of look over and chat while I'm doing this. I'm not even sure if Crystal's fully utilizing her fishing rod. I've got two tackles and I've got super bait on. Where are all these people coming from? The island. That was weird. I have like... I don't like to waste things and I think I'm wasting bait if I use it so I just don't. <laughs> Except what else would you use it for? Exactly. I know it, it isn't logical but... So if you already understand that it's not logical, then you just do it. No. <laughs> no, no. I don't rashly have a problem with spiders. I love that they eat a bunch of annoying other insects. I have a general arrangement with them. I'll leave them alone and you better be gone when I come back. I don't like it when I don't know where they are, though. That gets me. I just hate one particular type of spider and it's, it's like these see-through yellow ones that are inside the house. The ones that we have here mainly. Yeah, don't like them. I like those because in my old house we had big like brown or black ones and they were big compared to here. Here we just have small little like kind of clearish ones. So essentially Crystal had wolf spiders in her house. Oh, look at that. I got oh, nice. two sea cucumbers. Wow. Oh. That's how your brain works, too. Thank you. Okay, I'm just gonna, probably just gonna let this guy go. I don't know what that was, but it was annoying. <laughs> Is Ollie a good protector against spiders? I don't think he's ever seen one. We really don't get very much here, which I'm very, very lucky for. We have a lot of ants, unfortunately, during certain times of year, which drives me up a wall. Um, my old cat kitty used to eat them. And then she'd come over and try to like give you kitty kisses, and it's like, no. No, no. Kiara always went after the moths. Yeah, she was good with those. Well, I wouldn't say she's good with them. Just do what any cat would do with them. I consider that good. <laughs> Keeping them away from me. This is a useful consumable item. Better never use it in case I need it. <laughs> now you're speaking my language. You'll see. And then there's me. I open up the fishing chest. I'm like, wow, this chest is filling up full of tackles. I better use this shit. <laughs> oh. I must have got what I was fishing for. Your kitty would torment the box. Thankfully, kitty would just um, 
in one bo in one go. She didn't like torture them or anything, which is good. Because I would I would feel bad about that. Uh, I worked at a summer camp to have both spiders, and I had to have one of my coworkers get them out of my cabin. <laughs> uh, Tyranitar deserves more love. Agreed. Goofball like Kanji also said, I know Gyarados since I didn't like the rock weakness. Yeah. Well, I'm glad he sorted your team out. Uh, <laughs> upgrade to a large chest. Exactly. Right, I just need a tortilla now and then I can make lucky lunch and I think that's everything on the first page done. Except for one item, which I don't have yet. I just fished up a fish taco. Yummy. <laughs> and a diamond. Not, not so yummy. <laughs> not yummy. Unless you're like Abigail, maybe. She might crunch on that a little bit. I was thinking if you're a Goron. Or that, yeah. Mmm, shiny rock tastes better. Okay, so I think that's pretty much everything except for the items I don't know. For the most part. I need moss. <laughs> yeah, another prize ticket. <laughs> Shark Taco's like, I've been fished up. Thank you. It was getting a bit soggy down there. It's funny. Abigail's dentist has to be the number one world renowned dentist. Maybe her teeth are made of iridium. Can we cycle back to that idea? Marnie's birthday is tomorrow. I think. But you th I'm think you finished? I'm yet. good with her. I am good. Marnie. So I died long way on the door going to our garage. So I used my feather duster and took it outside. I had a daddy long legs on my head one time. So what? That didn't end well. Fish? Did you want? Um, I think I'm good. But like sea cucumbers, anchovies, stuff like that. Uh, what about super cucumber? I don't think I need those. No. Okay. Hey, go, go, get. Okay, controller was being silly. Sells for more a bar of iridium or a diamond. Assuming a diamond. There we go. Uh, did it die? I think I did in, in, like, on the inside. Um, I was outside eating dinner with my grandparents um, and my mom, and I think uh, my friend was there too. And uh, we were seated up, or seated up on their like deck. They had like, you know, a table and chairs and stuff set up outside. So we were having dinner outside, and uh, all of a sudden everyone got kind of quiet, and I could see them giving each other looks. And I looked around. I'm like, what's going on? My grandfather said, don't panic, and that's, of course, when you're going to start panicking. And it was them slowly trying to extract it off the top of my head and get it away before I, like, lost it. You have three sea cucumbers in this bin here. Yeah. Just, I didn't know that. Just so you know. I'm good, though. Squirrel, I hope you're having a great day. We've burned through all of our coal, iron. I know, that coal might be a bit of a problem. We're gonna have to... Well, no, we have 85 coal. We're good. We, we might still do more. Well, we can always just start making coal. Do you put the seeds you've been picking up somewhere? Uh, I'll put them right in here. Oop. 
Oh, there's a price ticket I need to put in there too. Boop. I have to step away. Have you gotten all the beans? Um, not, eh, not yet. We're doing pretty good, I'd say, but no, I don't think we got them all. Magnus, how is your day treat you? Well, that was a lot of money. And a lot of mun muns. Maybe I'll just let you guys decide. Mike and I were discussing on break. Should we get, or should I get, um, the teleport staff? Um, or should we save up for the clock? Which one do you think? Thanks, Robin, for the extra wood. Staff, staff. Okay. I will go and get the staff. Brackley. Brackley. Oh shit, I didn't I forgot that that's a multi harvest. <laughs> I was planting it for shits and giggles, and I was gonna just harvest it once. Didn't we need that for the raccoon? Well, we need something like that for a raccoon, yeah. Yeah. After doing perfection run the clock is your suggestion. Oh, we're gonna get it eventually for sure for perfection, but... It might just be a while. Um, we do have some warp totems, to be fair. Oh, Makos, are you sick today? Hopefully you feel fully better soon, friend. Sorry about that. What does the raccoons want? They wanted like pickled something and juice. I remember it was two really weird. It's like tomato and broccoli, I think. Or that was something from before. Bok choy juice and pickled broccoli. So pickled broccoli, yeah, and bok choy juice. We should have some bok choy in the fall chest. I think it is. That's disgusting. Why? Pickled broccoli and bok choy juice. Listen, okay. Don't judge the trash panda. Freeze be to the trash panda. We literally have two bok choy. <laughs> Mind you, I could have just came to the island and grew some there. I mean, I was also putting in the fridge, so I have been growing some recently. So three days bok choy. Oh, actually, you know what? I'm going to get this done now. We never use the stuff. Fairy dust. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Yeah, so it seems to be... A lot of people are saying the staff, and I agree it's useful, but I'll, I'll take a look at how many... Um, how many... Uh, bear with me. How many warp totems we have. Uh, and then I'll decide. Because, yeah, that is a valid point. The farm warp totems? Mm -hmm. We had 35 or something like that. I've been using them. 37. We have a considerable amount. Mm hmm. It's plenty, yeah. Because I, I remember that last little, like, effort to get the clock. Like, it, it took me a while, my first first time. I just got fairy dust. Thank you, raccoon. I spent a little fairy dust and received some back. <laughs> nice. <clears throat> Still voting for the staff. Oh, Silver, can you imagine? <laughs> just start to go in that dark. So I guess the good news, after we're done with this shenanigans, is if we want to just do stupid amounts of ancient seeds, over here we can. 
That's true, because yeah, you set it all up for that. Yeah, for it. Although, if we actually succeed in that, mm -hmm. we could also just buy a shit ton of, uh, more nozzles. It's true. And just nozzle that place up. <laughs> oh, really, Brandon? I think Strikers came to Switch first, didn't it? I could be mistaken in that. And then they, they put out the other Persona games there. Maybe they learned something on how to, like, get it to run better on the Switch between those two releases. Everything fully filled up. Let's get the rest of this done. You know, I forgot to hit that statue again today. It's easy to forget, right? I know. Oh, it's Twitch chapping wonky affection. Sorry about that. Oh. Did it kick you out as well? I don't like it when I hear about it kicking out lots of people. So I know sometimes it's just like, ah, oh, well, I'll just I'll go watch something else. Like, I get that. But also, not good for me. <laughs> oh, wait, I'm trying to... Try to put in more seeds. I was wondering why that wasn't working. Yes, seeds equal more seeds. More seeds. I maketh the seeds with the seeds. Yes. No it worries. I'll see you later, Sandra. Have a great one. All makes sense. So I think maybe our next harvest here, we're going to completely fill up this area. Mm -hmm. um, and then it's pretty much just selling off anything that doesn't, like, is extra. Instead of making it all into seeds. Yeah. Make enough seeds to replace what you have and then sell the extra. Which is cool, we're almost there. Yeah. Watching the rebirth chat, the one I sent you, it's honestly so good. You'll love it when you have the chance to watch it. I'm looking forward to being able to see that. I did watch Max's thought video the other night. It was very much along the lines of what I'm thinking as well, for the most part. Oops. 
So just that one last plot and we are good to go. If it wasn't for those darn trees. Yeah, it's okay. I could have even probably spaced this out better, but like, it's all good. We'll figure it out after. Okay, it is three o'clock. Why don't we go check on the... Uh, on our completion over here. Keeps me motivated. I think I should probably just gift people though at this point. Seventy nine per cent. Um so eighty five percent things shipped. Uh the friends is definitely weighing us down at the moment. Need ninety two percent of the cooking recipes, eighty two percent of crafting, some more walnuts. Okay, so for gifting. Uh Evelyn, Robin. Caroline, Dwarf, Leo, okay. If you're wanting friends, by the way, we do have an ad break coming up, just so you are aware. When it goes to the stream, there's a video on there which goes through all the settings for the battle system. I highly recommend watching. I pretty much set up mine from watching his from when I started playing. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, I was thinking I should probably kind of look up some videos on, like, proper builds and setups because I know there's a lot of different ways you can do things in that game but I still feel like I probably could do things a lot better than I was okay so um, especially for camera stuff I'm still mad I didn't realize that there was a mini map button for so so long Uh, okay, Evelyn. Yeah, we'll do, we'll do. Uh, fourth. Robin will also take spaghetti. I don't know if we've made any of that or if I've been gifted it, but let's see. Because I was giving her peaches, but we don't have, like, high-quality peach. Spaghetti, there we go. Uh, Leo, Alex. Can I use the, uh, star drop tea? Yeah, sure. Or do you want to use it? No, no, go ahead. You're doing a birthday thing, so I think that takes precedence. Uh, salmon dinner oh, for Alex. Oh, Marnie is one heart away. Nice. No, that's a bad thing. <laughs> no, you'd, you'll just give one gift and you're pretty much good. No, it takes more than that. No, oh, no, you got this. I think if I do anything different in my next Stardew play file, because I wasn't expecting to do completion for this, for perfection. Um, if I do anything different, it's going to be befriending people from earlier on. Because this save file, I was just like, ah, oh, you know, I'm, I'm not going to bother. I've done it once. And now I just want to play Stardew constantly, so. I like how you ran up there. When you could just teleport to the mountains. 
I'm going to forget about those because they're new. <laughs> I will remember eventually. I'll wait the dwarf. That should be done. Thank you all so much for being so patient for waiting through those. I know they are annoying, but still important. Oh, here you are. Con, are you being awkward? <laughs> I just come in and you're like creeping in between the husband and the wife. No, with Robin, she really likes the rabbit's foot, so. Mm hmm. I was having children yesterday and there was something over Seth Rosvitz and, or, you know, Cloud, Barrett, and Tifa. Also, sadly, it was how my friend said about Zach's fate. Oh, no. Yeah, she didn't know beforehand. It's kind of awkward. Okay, some gifting has been done. watering this it's just kind of thriving on its own which is nice to see spot uh watcher just backtracked on the whole did they actually did they actually post something they were being really really quiet oh a frenzy um for the last couple days so i figured they must be like talking things over But yeah, that doesn't surprise me. I need I need to see. Assuming it's a video. I'm gonna be running a Patreon instead of releasing content for free later. Yeah. Like if you wanna have some sort of paywall up, I do think that's the way to do it. Yeah, I had heard that they were traveling to the UK to do some some uh, show or something, and it's like, you should probably get that sorted before you take the stage. So this frenzy is just... Is it just I can fish anywhere and I get it, or...? No, I don't actually know. I think I'm, I'm assuming it's like you're more likely to catch that certain fish at the beach right now. So that's but where it said. Is it anywhere on the beach, or...? I don't know. <laughs> I got no clue. Hmm. Well, I better run home. Problem now is though they've lost a lot of faith from fans. I don't blame people for unsubbing or just leaving at the same time, you know? I made a video about them, yeah. 
update on messed up. I don't know if they had some sort of like PR marketing firm or if they just thought it up themselves, but uh not not a good luck. Just in time. Nice. Broccoli. I shown some true colors and that can't be hidden. It's out there forever. Yep. Yep. Okay, so Friday 19th, it is not time to go back to bed. Um, reading. Well, that tea tree takes forever. Seven days to mature. Wow. Check on the uh, crops, um, but I'm also gonna cut some grass. I think today. That's as much as they're gonna let me have. I'm kind of debating. <laughs> Go touch that grass. I'm kind of debating getting another uh, silo put in as well. I feel like we kind of ate through a lot last winter. Okay, let's see here. So it's kind of all mismatched, but that's okay. So every time I find something new to watch, I turn out to be pretty shitty people and it's getting old and tiring at this point. I don't think anyone's perfect and like, you know, everyone's gonna have bad things, but you hope people don't act on it or are good people underneath the ball, you know? Okay, so let's hope. I have 123 here. If I can get more than we need, that would be great. Chelsea. about it Brandon um, there's also the whole chugga situation like that was a lot and it sounds like it, it was just a lot of bad things all at once and don't think he's entirely innocent of that but also not fully fully to blame either can't remember the last person I subbed to I um I have a bad time finding new people Usually I get recommendations, I hear about it from you guys, and that's about it. I don't go out of my way to look usually anymore. Which is bad. I should probably do that more often. Get some new, uh, things to watch. Oh yeah, when I'm talking sub as well, I was I was just thinking YouTube as well, uh, because yeah, the the paying for the subs on like here and stuff, 
Definitely, that's your money. <laughs> Thanks, Bezos. I don't think I've heard of them before. Sounds like uh, my sort of content though. Oh yeah, I, I've seen people do those. It's like day zero or day one of Stardew, day 100, yeah. Interesting idea. down for the recommendations. Just plant anywhere? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> anywhere there's space. Yeah. I cannot even begin to imagine how much this is bothering me though. Oh wait, that's actually it. Is it fully covered, I think. Put the extra seeds in here. Yep, extra seeds go in there, and then I'll sell off 53 for today. Oh, 50, oh we're making... Making strides. And we still have 10 days left, so yeah, that's not so bad. Hopefully. Hopefully uh, maybe, maybe get there. I'm gonna do the rounds for gifting again. So Evelyn. It's like, why do I come back to this place? It's so dreary and nasty. I know, it kind of is. I do agree that would seems a bit fishy, but I'm not gonna go into it. Yeah, definitely. I appreciate that too. Uh, fish taco. Uh, I guess I'll just give a diamond. birthday is coming up. I'll be able to finish Robin off this weekend. Yeah, I might save this for her for then. then. What? A spaghetti. She likes spaghetti, apparently. Yeah, spaghetti is one of her favorite things. Is it a iridium spaghetti? I don't think food comes in... Does food still do qualities? I don't know, but... I don't think they do anymore. I thought it was just full points, no matter what. If you could have a iridium goat cheese, it might do better. Oh, it's wait. So if it doesn't have points, then it's just full. As far as I was aware, that's why I've been giving g gifts where possible. Oh. Is that why you just gave diamonds? Yeah. Because it's just always a full. It is indeed. Unless someone in chat knows otherwise, in which case, please tell us. Well, I didn't fill up Marnie's heart completely. You'll get in one more then. 
Uh, what was Kent's thing again? I know it was like, was it hazelnuts or something? Yeah. Me trying to see if I already have it. I have this one. He likes that one. Just not into it. Yeah, no, I don't know what it was with Strikers as well, Brandon. I had the... I don't know if it's just today for you or in general, but I enjoyed the idea of it. I enjoyed the little bit of story we got. Um, but it wasn't hitting right, and I, I kind of dropped it. Oh, Lewis's birthday is forever. George, what is George like? Wow, he doesn't actually love diamonds. George likes leaks. Iridium quality leak. That'll be good for him. Yeah. I just think uh, his birthday's coming up soon, so. Yeah. Mango, we're just discussing uh, who likes what in Star Trek. <laughs> we're both kind of on gifting sprees. Right over Royal. Starting another Persona game. I could also be wrong, Brandon. I, it's been a while since I completed any of them. Um, but I seem to remember, I know for a fact that the ending of Royal and the ending of OG Persona 5 are different. Um, there are differences, very clear ones. Um, and I think I remember feeling that Strikers would have... I would have been more enjoying of it if I had finished it after I finished OG Persona 5 and not... Like, Royal had a different vibe to the ending. So I think that kind of threw me off a little bit. I hope you have a good day at work. Wonder when we'll get Persona 6. I mean, I'm hoping that they don't pull a Persona 5 and have it be stuck in just like this this loop of it's coming out, we swear, and then not happening. You know, don't don't announce it too early. <laughs> yeah, it's it's a little weird. And it never quite sat with me correctly. So I just need Elliot, Kent, and Alex. I hope so. I'm also imagining with Persona, they've had like, you know, color schemes for the last few games. I don't know if 1 and 2 had the same thing, but obviously 3 has blue, 4 has yellow, 5 has red. Um, are we thinking green for the next one? What are we thinking? Purple, maybe? Apparently people are saying green. Like leakers. Oh, okay, I got you. Where the heck does Ken hang out? I don't really know him. Areas. 
Yeah, it, it would flow well, definitely. Oh, no, don't want to see shirtless Alex. No, thank you. I'm good. Is he in bed? Seriously? It's seven o'clock. Oh, don't eat the breakfast. Save it for him. Elliot would be hanging out in here. <laughs> Sorry, Silver Bomb. <laughs> you can have him. Just make sure he's awake to get his, uh, his gifts and we're all good. Where are you Newman off to? Uh, I'm going to upgrade my fishing rod and hopefully get to preserving. Okay. Considering my watering can's not done yet, now there's a hoe. Which those are the other two that are really good to have leveled up all the way. Mm -hmm. So the only one I have really is the fishing rod. Because, like, the pick, the pick doesn't have, like, a really nice one. Mm hmm Extra power level, no energy drain, meh. Use it faster. Doesn't take that long to use anyways. Mm hmm So, I figure fishing rod... Seen Sun Haven's having a big update before they release on Switch. I really need to sit down and play that game. Yeah, that's one on uh, on my radar as well. Well, then that was perfect. Got what you needed? Yeah, preserving one shot. Nice. Now I've got a. Fifty percent chance that the bait and tackle aren't consumed on use. Oh yeah. So my, t my tackles will last a lot longer and uh, I won't have to burn through all my bait every single mm -hmm. fish, which is really nice. Did you just get a walnut? No. I saw the walnut thing come down very briefly and then it went away. Or is it because I came close to this dude? No. There we go. I haven't seen him and started playing it, but then I'm pretty sure Sandra fully came out and I stopped playing. Sandra was so good. I was watching um, oh, Josh's Gaming Garden, I think is the name. I was watching his, like, comparison of uh, the original release of Sandra on Switch to the newer update that we got recently. Um, and like, I can see that graphically it does look a little better, but he was mentioning like the frame rate being stable and I'm like, I can see so many drops happening right now. <laughs> it's like, what are, what are we, what are we accepting here? Mike Tron, you have a great day at work. Uh, but no, honestly, if, if you only have a Switch and you want to play Sandrock. It actually doesn't look that bad anymore. It did look pretty, pretty bad um, when it first came out. Go play Sticky Business. Enjoy. I remember you mentioning that you got that. After I get the lobster I need, the only things I need left are banana pudding, ginger ale, spicy eel, super meal, tropical curry. I think the tropical curry is the annoying one. I'm pretty sure that one is from um, Gus on the 
island, I think. I don't know about... I think at least this one might be from that, that friendo on the island. Games can be optimized for switching more with how advanced games are now. If they're originally PC releases, yeah, there's no point in even attempting it almost, which is sad. Um, it's like that Europa game. Q fruit's not even worth selling. No, it's just one. It's just one each. Um, I was watching Good King Gamer play some of that earlier this morning, and like, I like the idea of the game, but I'm not picking it up on Switch. I will pick it up wherever else I can. The wedding dress move forward. Eh. Sephiroth, move! Or, Sephi, move. <laughs> He's like, I'm gonna block the door so he can't leave. I've been asked multiple times, but asking everyone, who was the first character you romanced in Stardew? Who's the one you usually end up romancing nowadays? Uh, Sebastian. And I don't... Other than him and Penny, I haven't gone for anyone else. Other than Mike. <laughs> so... I don't think I'm a really good answer for this question. Sebastian, just Sebastian. Mm -hmm. That being said, next playthrough on PlayStation, I'm going for Harvey. I've been threatening it for a while. You all have excellent taste. <laughs> is marrying Harvey and having to pay full price for it still is still free for you because you married him. So the money is still yours. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Versus Leah, but my favorite was my depressed chicken man. Bear just barked in his sleep. I scared the crap out of you, oh bear. Why you gotta be woofing? Being so spooky. Um, okay. Let me take a look at the recipes while we're letting this play out. Alright, so... Um... Not me looking at this and being like, oh, I'm kind of hungry. My tummy do be rumbling. Seeds. It was a loud one, that's for sure. He's not happy or whatever he's dreaming. Did he not wake up from his own pork? How do? I'm going to go for Ellie. He's such an adorable... Adorkable giant of Werner. <laughs> I think my only thing with him is I cannot find the man to gift him. He's just constantly missing. He never does. He'll wake up if I attempt to move away from where I'm sat, though. He's like, you're not allowed to go anywhere. What does this look like? Okay. I found a cube bean in the garbage. Nice. Garbage beans. Okay, so ginger ale is the shop in the volcano. Um... Uh, Banana pudding is island trader for 30 bone fragments. I have to check again what else I'm missing.
Uh, spicy eel super meal tropical curry. So tropical curry is the one where you're waiting for gas to be selling in Ginger Island. I remember that much. Um, spicy eel and super meal. all of them um which means we'll be selling just over a hundred so far here that we need. I need bone fragments though. <laughs> Everything's coming over here, huh? Uh, good, I think. Fishing. Fishing. Yes. Oh, I'm also gonna need to buy that, aren't I? Okay. Oh, we got the banana recipe. Let's go in and uh, try to get to floor five, I guess. <laughs> Make sure I don't need anything first. Just for a thousand gold, okay. Uh, what was the other ones I needed? Oh, that's George in the mail. Okay, easy. He has a birthday coming up. And then the last one is the super meal. Kent in the mail. Okay. And then it's just tropical curry, and that one is gonna be a pain, because I remember it being a pain. I think it's something like Gus will like either randomly or he has like certain dates where he'll go to the island and you need to buy it from him then. an enemy.
Oh. I literally have a magnet bait on and treasure uh, tackle on. Yeah. And I'm not getting any chests. Oh, rude. And it's supposed to be super good luck today. Mm hmm. Well, there's a gold chest, finally. You just need to complain, that's all. Yep, clearly. Complaining works. Oh, there's another button somewhere? God, bottom floors are the worst. Oh, never mind, not that bad. up there. I know we need those. I can't remember what we needed them for. The, uh, forge. Oh, yes. Right, I need to craft that still. Yep. Makes my life easier not having to go up there. <laughs> confusing. I thought that slime popped out. I'm like, what is going on? Right, hello, yes. Hi. There's a lot of flying fire that I don't appreciate. Ginger ale. There we go. Those are the two recipes I didn't have yet for that. Cool. Good, good, good. Good day, too. Got a lot of uh, key fruits. Like we sold a lot? Yeah, we're up to... It's gonna be like just over 130, I think. All right, because that's the ship still. Ten K for a pink belt. I better give us plus five strength or something. Do I make the joke or not? It could give us stabbing immunity on our backs, you know, just in case some madman decides to jump down and stab you through the back with an obnoxiously long sword. Too soon? Not soon enough? <laughs> Thank you. 
Is it draining, Brandon? Sometimes when your batteries get older, they tend to do that, I found. Oh, affection. Yeah, no, no, no worries. Um, okay, so I have this random dish set that I just got. Decorative bowl. Oh, huh. that's generally what sits on top of my table oh. uh, when you first start the game. Yeah, I uh, I don't know where it dropped from, but I got it from somewhere. stuff and make sure. So we're saving, um, I guess, the wine here for our basement. I think I might put on a different outfit. I feel like at the beginning of the game we were getting a lot of different outfits. Um, but now not so many. Maybe a little witch's hat, but for like the uh, Halloween look. Or as Halloween as I can get right now. Oh. Is phone battery depleting, by the way? My phone likes to let me know, it's like, hey, you haven't opened this in a while, or like, hey, um, this is draining your battery in the background, do you want to stop it? And something that got me is I had TikTok on my phone for a very short amount of time, um, where I actively used it. I just, I don't really get it. <laughs> Not my thing. Um, so I had it, and I, I didn't touch it didn't have permissions to be running in the background or anything like that, or at least it shouldn't have had anything. Um, and I hadn't opened it in a while, my phone had been fully turned off and reset several times. And then one day, I remember I was out for a walk, and I got a notification my phone's like, hey, TikTok is really draining your battery in the background, and I'm like, nope, off you go. You shouldn't have access to anything. What are you making, on? over there being suspicious. Do you make a long sleeve gold shirt? Are you just going for the full gold look? <laughs> I yellowfied some pants. Nice. Oh no. Oh no? Why are we all knowing? Well, I don't think we're going to play through an entire other week. Oh, is there something? We have eight days left in this Q quest. 
Yeah. I won't be playing probably next time. Oh. I won't get the hundred. You won't get the hundred gems. That's such a shame. Man. It's Rob's birthday. <laughs> that made me sad. Are we continuing this day or? Yeah, I figure we can do one more day. Okay. Wah, wah, wah. Sorry, hon. Uh. It doesn't have to be open. It'll be doing stuff in the background. Yeah, and that's why I usually tell things to like, hey, unless you're open, you're not doing nothing. Keep plants, I guess, actually. Harvested. Let's see how many we can get in terms of seeds here. Yeah, if you go through your phone settings, there should be, like, um, they might be in your battery settings. You might be able to, like, be like, okay, you know, don't allow this to use battery or be running while I'm uh, not using it. Might be also useful to add that depends on if you're using Android or Apple devices. True. somehow pushes the uh, truffles outside of the fence. I've had that happen once um, up by the barn near one of the gates but not like right by the gate. Yeah. Okay, I guess I'm giving Robin this then. What are you giving? Uh, just a silver quality rabbit's foot. Mm. Couldn't find any other ones. I uh, I have not gifted anyone one of those yet. I've been gifting them away because they're universal loves. Except for like a rare few people. Twitch, thank you for welcoming me back to my own chat room. Uh, so close to being finished. What? I need to give her one more thing. Oh. That wasn't enough. 
Oh, what if you cash in the tickets? What if I cash in the tickets? Can I get a tea? Yeah. Go give it a try. I haven't cashed any yet in a while. I wouldn't waste a tea on that, though, personally. I know. It's just upsetting that if I just had one little, like, quality tick up, it would have been perfect. Mm-hmm. So we are selling 91 today on top of 141. Nice, that's 200 and something. That means if we do something like that every single day, before the six, like before we have like six days left, it should be done. Mm -hmm. For the next two, three days, it should be done. And I'm one third of the way done my mastery. Nice. Till we get there. <clears throat> Why are you turned that way? I gifted her. Oh, I guess she still was turned from that. She was an awestruck because I gifted her on her birthday. Hmm. Doing. Robin's done. Robin's you never have to gift ever again. Evelyn's nearly done. Caroline the dwarf. Oh, I should stuck with what you said, spaghetti, because it's got no thing, so it's maximum giftage. Yeah. Dang it. Oh well. And again, we have like a lot of cooked food, so we don't really need to be keeping, so. Yeah. Okay, so Evelyn. Uh, I always bring two feathers with me, even though I don't think I'm going to find Elliot. Uh, dwarf. for me coming up. Just George. Uh, but George is someone who I need, so. I'm gonna take in the tickets, okay? Yep. Not gonna lie, I always click on that one statue hoping to get the speed boost. It's just, it's nice, especially when you're just going to be running around that day. Tomorrow's cranberry day that you get to do. Nice. There you are. Hi. Radium spring fire, oh even God. though I've been making a whole load of them. Doesn't look like we're getting tea. Fancy house plant. Bombs. And some of the, uh, the thingamajigs. Yeah, mine doesn't have tea either. <laughs> File for divorce. <laughs> Did you actually find that? I, I clicked on it and I, I didn't realize that you could click that. That's what that book does. I um, was try I always click on the lost and found to see if you know you never know, right? Going for the little pop up. Mike is filing for divorce.
comes with something when I feel like I'm running slow without coffee. <laughs> Mood. <laughs> but, but, let me introduce to y'all a brand new problem I never thought I would have. When I was playing with Ace on stream, um, I didn't have all the speed books and stuff. You move so slow at the beginning of the game now. That kind of sucks. Oh, hi. Hi. It does suck. I'm so slow. <laughs> oh, God. You'll get there, though. And then when you get the speed bucks, you really do appreciate them, I'm sure. I definitely think it needs a shift button to move faster. <laughs> Okay, actually, wait a minute while I'm thinking about it. Did I see this in a dream? Was it on Reddit? What's this about trading in bundles? I think I saw it on Reddit now that I'm thinking about it. No, I. No, no, it's right there. Three mystery boxes for one golden mystery box. Oops, my hand slipped. A couple of times. I don't care. Try to give this to Caroline one last time. I don't know where she's been hanging out. Couldn't find her earlier. I'm just gonna relax and think positively. There you go. Think positively and you shall receive a fish taco, apparently. <laughs> Check on the quarry as well here, see how, how those are growing in. Some that are still seeds, and then others that are fully grown. So friends, before we uh, kind of start wrapping up here for our stream for today, friendly reminder, I will be live two hours earlier than normal tomorrow morning. Um, I'll be live at 8 a.m. Eastern. We are doing a charity event with Gamers vs. MS. I'm doing a six hour like section of a relay, essentially. Um, 
We're gonna be doing some Wind Waker crowd control. Wind Waker is absolutely one of my favorite Zelda games. I think it should be a good time. If you want to come on by, um, please feel more than free, whether you are lurking, chatting, um, donating and causing chaos, or just donating straight up, whichever one you prefer. Um, it should be fun. It should be fun, so. To make the final preparations tonight and make sure my OBS wants to work because honestly, it's been having a lot of issues and I don't know why. <gasps> yeah, if you also, if you want G Fuel. Got some of that. I've been really enjoying the cherry flavor. <laughs> I know cherry's not everyone's favorite, but it's really, really good. It's just me and Ollie tucked in early waiting for Mike. This is actually a normal thing. It's very true to IRL, yeah. Ollie's sleeping on my legs. When he thinks that I don't know that I know that he's there. I think I said that right. <laughs> he likes to snuggle up behind my feet or behind my ankles. And just like lay his little head down and it's really cute. Sailor Luna, hello. How are you doing today? Look him on in. Welcome on in. Um, I guess while we're waiting, I'll see if I can find someone who we can raid into here. Um, and also, by the way, because I'm streaming Wind Waker tomorrow and probably for a little while after as well, at least that's the plan, uh, we're not going to see Stardew for a minute. We will be back. We will be back, but it'll be a bit. Uh, I think we're gonna just go and raid Ace today. Ace is also doing some Stardew. They're also doing Perfection Grinds, a very similar kind of stuff. And Ace is also just awesome, so. Oh, look at so many people who are playing Stardew. So many people who I follow. Yeah, thank you so very much for hanging out. I do appreciate it. Um, if y'all are new, uh, drop a follow. Still more than free. I usually stream every day at 10 a.m. Uh, Eastern, except for Thursdays and Fridays. Tomorrow, like I said, it's going to be a little bit different. So, um, have an awesome, awesome rest of your day. Uh, enjoy. Oh, look at all them cranberries. Enjoy Ace's stream. And uh, I will hopefully see you guys tomorrow. Have a good one.